Hey everyone, Not Free Mama here. Today I'm going to show you how to make Tennessee peach pudding. Okay, hey, let's start off with our ingredients. First, you need five cups of peaches peeled and diced. Those can be fresh or frozen. I have about 12 here that I peeled. I just used a knife, um, but they were really small peaches, so I actually could have used a couple more. Then you need two cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of sugar, one cup of, it says whole milk, but I'm using 2%. Then you need four teaspoons of baking powder, a fourth a teaspoon of nutmeg, and don't worry, it is not made from a nut, it is made from a seed. Then you also need a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So that is all for the filling. Then for the topping, you need three-fourths cup brown sugar, three-fourths cup granulated sugar, three tablespoons of butter, a half a teaspoon of nutmeg again, and then you need three cups of water, which I don't have out yet. And then to garnish it, you can either use ice cream or whipped topping. I'm gonna use vanilla ice cream because I think that would just be really good. So go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 and then spray a nine by 13 baking dish with cooking spray and we're gonna set that to the side and get out a large saucepan. All right, so in this saucepan, I have um, some of my topping ingredients. First, you need your, both of your sugars and your nutmeg. We're gonna whisk that together over medium heat and then add in our water and butter. All right, I added my water and my butter to this, so now we are just gonna bring it to a boil. We are just gonna keep stirring this until the sugar is fully dissolved. Okay, my topping is finally starting to come to a boil. That took forever, so I suggest you don't use cold water and you don't use cold butter. Leave it at room temperature and this little first step will go a lot faster. So after it comes to a boil and all of your sugar is dissolved, you can set that to the side. All right, my mixture is boiling and all my sugar is dissolved, so now I'm going to turn the heat off and remove that from the heat and set it to the side. All right, so next in another large bowl, we are going to whisk together the flour, sugar, baking powder, salt, cinnamon, and nutmeg until it is combined. All right, that looks great. So I'm going to whisk in my milk and vanilla extract and just whisk that until it is smooth. All right, I had to get in there with a spatula and really work that. A whisk was not cutting it. I spilled a lot of my mixture. So next we are going to fold in our peaches. All right, that looks pretty combined to me. So we are going to go ahead and pour that into our prepared pan and just spread it out evenly. All right, that looks pretty evenly spread to me. So next we are going to pour our filling on top of these this mixture that we have in the pan already. Okay, my filling is poured over top. Next, we bake this for 50 to 55 minutes. You can cover it with aluminum foil if you need to. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I was a little worried about what that dessert looked like when I put it in the oven, but it's only been in there 10 minutes, and you can already see that the topping already goes to the bottom because I was a little worried about that, but it's already looking good. All right, this has come out of the oven, and mine has been sitting for about 45 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and scoop some out and put some ice cream on it and see what Taste Tester thinks. All right, this is all ready to go. So let's go see what Taste Tester thinks. Hi, Taste Tester. Hi. Have a little taste. Okay. Yum, yummy. Do you like it? Yeah. All right, everyone, come back and see us again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.